Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rhino Beer Review. You have the Rhino, you have the live studio audience. Listen to them, they can cheer too. Hear that? They're cheering. Uh, and we got this beer. This is Nogna O Saison. So, we're looking at the Saison. Ooh, Nogna O Saison. Nogna O Saison is 6.5% alcohol by volume, it is from Norway. It is telling you on the back that it is unfiltered, so pour carefully if you do not wish to disturb the yeast sediment on the bottom. I don't care about disturbing the yeast sediment on the bottom, so we are not pouring this all that carefully. So this really is in stark contrast to the uh, porter I poured from them, which was all head. As you see, looks nice. Looks like a saison, slightly cloudy, golden color. Not really any carbonation moving in there. Well, that's a lie. There is some. Very tiny bubbles. Nice, very white head, pillowy, uh, blankety. It's blankety. Look at that. It's a blanket. Mm. Oh, yeah. Orange peel. Lemon zest. Coriander. Tiny, tiny touch of thyme. And a touch of banana, too. It actually smells very, very nice. The one scent that I'm missing on here is, of course pepper, which you normally get in a saison. Let's try it though. Cheers, boys and squirrels. It's very refreshing, but in all honesty, I've had a lot better saisons in my time. It more tastes like a Belgian blonde, in all honesty. It has a little bit of a fruity zest to it. It has a little bit of that woody, earthy backbone to it, but not much else. You do get some normal wheat flavors, you do get uh, citrus, uh, you get the flesh of an orange, you get a little bit of sweet orange peel, you get a little bit of lemon zest. You, I said you smelt coriander, but it tastes more like cilantro. Now, I say those differently, I know in, the, I, I know in a lot of European countries they're packaged as the same. I don't know how they do it in the, in the US. But here in Canada, they do have a slightly different scent and they do have a slightly different taste, but cilantro is you're getting the actual herb, you're getting the le leafy herb, and coriander is you're getting the seed of the plant. Uh, we do ship them separately. In, in a lot of other places, they're shipped as the same. Regardless of what you're buying, it's called coriander. But yeah, um, you're, you're tasting it more as cilantro. It kind of has that more tang taste that, uh, that it would get. You get a little bit more of a tangy taste on cilantro than you do on uh, on coriander, and it, it's it's giving off that as well. No real peppery taste though. It's a good beer. It's about medium bodied. It um it's refreshing. It's just not. It's not. I don't know. I don't understand this. I hear so much about Nogna O, and I'm not trying to downgrade them. I think it's just because I expect so much from all the hype that they get, and then I get so little from what I'm getting. And I'm not saying they're bad, not when I say I'm not getting, I'm getting so little. I'm just saying that they just come off a lot lower than their hype would be. 
I mean, it is a good saison. Would I buy it again? For the price this bottle is, no, I wouldn't buy it again. I'd buy, I'd buy a Bellwood saison, or I would buy any saison that I can get here in Ontario again if I wanted a saison before I'd grab this guy. Um, fuck, I'd go to the Oast House and pay them for one, and everybody knows how I feel about Oast House. Um, it's 6.5% alcohol by volume. I won't buy it again, so I'll have to give it a 6.75. It's not a bad beer, it's just not anything I really want to drink again. And for that, I can't give it a 7, because 7 means I'd buy it again, and I won't buy this again. So a 6.75 out of 10 for Nogna O Saison. I got a lot of it left. See, a lot of it left. And now I got a chug. So here we go, boys and squirrels. One, two, three. <sighs> okay, bye.